Hey fam, so I've had some technical difficulties this week and I won't actually be able to upload the bullet journal stuff that I already finished for the month because I ran out of space. So until an external hard drive comes in, uh, I can only put in like a five or ten minute video into iMovie. So here we are, secret time. I was on Discord the other day and we started talking about um, some cringy 8th grade middle school moments, uh, stuff I hadn't thought about in a long time, and two memories just sprung forth to my mind and I figure I'll share them with you. <laughs> Especially those of you who n have read anything I've written, you know the one thing I'm really good at is making you feel secondhand embarrassment. And there's a reason for that, you write what you know. <laughs> Uh, I was born in the awkward, molded by it. So I'm going to share with you one or two stories of why I'm so cringy and embarrassing. <laughs> okay, in case you weren't aware, the first thing you should know about me is that I've always been boy crazy. Like, from a young age. I always sat at the guys table, all my, gu all my friends were guys. Um, I didn't even have time for fictional crushes because I always had bigger fish to fry, like, in real life at school. My 8th grade model was a particularly strong phase. His name was Anthony. I know that because that little part of your brain that keeps you up at night won't let me forget it. Next I should note that I was heavily influenced as a child by the show Hey Arnold. Helga has a crush on Arnold and she has this little locket where she keeps this picture and she keeps it on her at all times. And for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to do the same thing. Mine was a little more discreet, I'll be honest. Um, I didn't have a locket or anything like that, but uh, I did keep his picture in, um, in the front of my planner, like the front page of my planner, I like glued his school picture in and I drew like little hearts around it and stuff and I kept it with me. <laughs> I was in English class, a class I shared with him. You can see where this is probably gonna go. And I sat, uh, what made this better is I sat at the very front of the room, like the just right of the center aisle. And he sat sort of back towards my diagonal um, back there and my my English teacher, she just kind of brushes by um, my planner sitting on my desk and she just brushes by casually and knocks my planner towards the floor and I knew, in that moment, I knew what was about to happen so much so that it happened in like slow motion to me. I tried to catch it but it, f it fumbled and the spiral bound notebook twirled until it opened, it landed face up on that page right within view of my crush and I he saw my little shrine page and I watched as his face turned from curiosity to amused <laughs> disbelief to unbridled horror and I must have been wearing an expression something like this. <laughs> I mean, it might have been different if it was somebody else, but I was that loud, unattractive, chubby, artsy girl that sat at the boys' table and talked about RuneScape with them all day. He was out of my league. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I had zero street cred with his cool athletic type. I don't think he spoke to me again for like the rest of the year. <laughs> he transferred after that. I, I don't think it has to do with me, but who knows. Um, this next one is, I don't know if it's better or worse, you can decide for yourself. But somehow during class I really had to pee, like crazy bad. And I think maybe at lunch they gave us strawberry lemonade or something and I'm I'm vulnerable to that drink in the same way that Superman is weak to kryptonite. So if, if you give me a gallon, you have to like stop me from drinking it or I'll just drink the whole thing. 
And so I just remember running down the long junior high hallway and somehow I accidentally wound up in the boys' bathroom. And guess who was there? Ya boy! A smarter girl might have turned and ran or apologized profusely, but the brilliant words that came out of young Jenny's mouth were, Oh my gosh, that's so cool! We had to use the bathroom at the same time! Ugh. Okay, I've never had someone outside of that moment legitimately slowly back away from me. Like, he, he didn't say a word, he just walked, he kind of inched his way around me and out the bathroom door. <laughs> didn't say anything. Ugh, I feel so bad for that guy, like, being subject to my devices. I mean, it's not like they had urinals at my little Christian school, like, he was just washing his hands, it's not like I walked in on him with his, you know. <laughs> Honestly, overreaction much? No, no, I'm just creepy. I don't remember which one of these happened first, um, but I do feel bad for him. <laughs> Fun fact, he actually added me on Facebook um, sometime during undergrad, and I was like, oh, you clearly don't remember me or you wouldn't be doing that. I should have scared you off for good. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, like, I need to see if he's on Facebook. I gotta... I gotta Facebook stalk him once real quick for old time's sake. Few moments later. Aw, he has a cute dog. Still looking like an athletic model. Good for him, man. But anyway, I gotta go look at some of my other high school friends and Facebook stalk them. So I'll catch you later. I hope you enjoyed my cringy life stories. There's lots more where that came from. And also I will definitely have art to you next week. I will see you Friday. Thanks for watching.